Hello, I'm the Pocketbook Huntress and welcome to my channel. So tonight we're going to talk about a couple of bags that I've added to my collection recently. So those bags are going to be, one of them at least, is this beautiful bag that's on screen right now. And this is the, um, the Surf and Mint Banded Shoulder Bag. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory. So we all know that Coach has been having their semi-annual sale for almost a month now. I believe it's been about a month. And um, I've been in and out of the store several times, and um, I've stalked the websites to see what it was that I wanted or, you know, what I thought I wanted. And I kind of like made a wish list of the things that I wanted to pick up in a certain order. The Bandit is definitely on that list, okay? But it fell more to the bottom of the list, okay? So um, even though I was in the store and my sales associate, you know, she kept on nudging me with this particular bag, okay? Um, I was still undecided about, you know, which band did I actually want it? Did I want one from Surf Mint Collection? Did I just want a regular band and what size did I want? Okay. So those are the things I had to work out within myself before I went ahead and purchased this bag. So let's speed forward about, I would say almost a week or two ago, um, I was watching, um, Agent Bad Reviews with Julie and Julie was actually reviewing her um, banded bags and she loved them so much and she was just so excited about these bags so I said okay you know I'm gonna get a banded I've made up my mind now I'm definitely going to get a bag a banded the question was which banded are you gonna get I'd already decided it was gonna be the, the, the shorter bag the big the big one the bigger one so the bigger bag but what color and I just kind of like went back and forth and there were only a few colors that were available I think it was red black blue and maybe a stone color and that's that's okay but n nothing that really you know made my heart sink okay so again my sub associate was like you know how about this one and i kind of felt like i like the bag but i'm not sure how much wear i'm going to really get out of that bag there's a lot going on in that bag so let me think about it i'll go home and I see another video from Yota of Yota Style. So now I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm literally Googling this bag. I want to see videos on this bag. I want to see what people are saying and what they're thinking and how they're feeling about the bag and how they're styling it. I want to see the YouTube videos on the bag. Not a lot, okay? So I did come across some really great videos from Yota of Yota Styles. And she was talking about um, the blue bag that she actually had. And um, she really was impressed with the bag. So I said, you know what? It's gonna be a bandit. You know, it's gonna be one of the Surf Mint collection bags, okay? So um, at this point in time, both bags were on my mind, okay? And so I said, well, I'm thinking that I'm going to get the most use out of this lighter color bag, okay? Um, I can find some things to wear this with when I'm going to my office, maybe. Uh, if I'm, you know, I could wear it with some blacks, some reds, you know, some grays. It, the bag has a lot of different hues in it, okay? So I said, okay, this is gonna be the bag. So I go and I purchase the bag. And when I purchase the bag, I purchased this nice little card case to go with the bag. You know, we love accessories. So let's talk about this bag a little bit in more a little bit more detail okay so as I said this is the coach bandit shoulder bag from the surf mint collection so surf and mint are two artists um, that um, I guess they're state they, they live in Brooklyn and their objective was pretty much just to paint they loved graffiti so they wanted to just paint New York and that's what they did Okay, and, and they um, actually created the artwork on this bag. So this is the, which one is this one? This is the Brass Ivory Multi. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to the camera because I want you to see a few things, okay? okay? So in this bag, this piece right here, this little patch. This patch right here. Here and here. 
that is all of the shiny, okay, that is on this bag. Everything else is a matte color and it's textured, okay. Um, actually, the coach website actually refers to it as being embroidered, but it is very much so textured, okay. So in this bag, as you can see, when you look at the colors, we can see red, we can see chalk, we can see black, we can see the ivory. But we can also see some lavender here, maybe some sh um, hues of gray here. This is the back of the bag. I'm not exactly sure what this says. I've been trying to figure it out. My husband has been trying to figure it out. We're not sure. I'm not even really sure. I don't know if you guys can get a clear look at it. I'm not even sure if it's an English word or if it's um, from um, some a, a different um, language. I'm not sure yet because at least one of the artists in the in the uh, the duo was at least his name indicates that he was not from the United States. So I'm not sure if, if, if he's Polish or um, if he's Russian. I don't want to butcher his name, so I'm not going to even try, okay? The second guy, I believe, was from the U.S., okay? And I thought I had their names written down, but maybe I didn't write their names down. And I didn't write their names down because I didn't want to butcher that man's name, okay? All right, so not even sure if this is English. I have looked at it. I put it in the Google I can't find anything on it, okay? So maybe somebody can tell me what's going on. I don't know. So this is a beautiful bag. Let's look at the dimensions of the bag. So this bag is nine and, uh, and one fourth inches in length. It is five and three fourths in height. It is three inches wide here at the base. It tapers up to two and a fourth inches wide, okay? And that is when the bag is empty. Okay, so this bag is made of glove tan leather. Um, it is, this has a, it's a full leather bag. Beautiful, full leather. And the leather is a beautiful color. It has this back pocket. Right here, can you guys see that? Let me take this part out right here so you guys can see the back pocket a little bit better. So it has this back pocket. In the back pocket, it's supposed to be like a snap, but it's pretty much magnetic, okay? So it's got this section, it's got this part right here, okay? Then it's got a space right back here, which you can get your hand in or a cell phone, okay? Then it's got this front compartment right here. And then it has this back pocket. So there's a lot of organization in the bag, okay? It's got the 1941 hang tag, and then I had um, my own tag made to go with the bag just to give it a little bit more accent of color. This bag comes with a shoulder strap. Um, you can wear it either crossbody or as a shoulder bag, which I have right here. So when I look at this bag, I mean, it's a beautiful bag. It's a work of art for sure, okay? This bag retails for $795. And if you add this card case, it's another $175. So between these two pieces, you're looking at $1,000, okay? Do I think it's worth $1,000? Absolutely, I do. I think the bag is very well made. It's very well crafted. It's full leather. I mean, just by it being a full leather bag, you know, it gets a lot of brownie points just for that, okay? It has this push lock pin closure on the seat. Now, when I was looking at the bag, I didn't think that this was gonna be a really secure closure, but when I carried the bag today, I had no problems at all. Um, there was no accidental openings. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I had to actually work to get it open. I was kind of surprised about that. Okay. So the bag is $795 when it's not on sale, okay, by itself. Some people say, oh, that's a lot of money for that bag. But while I was out doing my shopping, I took the opportunity to stop in Gucci and Louis Vuitton. And I can promise you that Gucci or Louis Vuitton have no bags in their stores right now that are full leather bags that are a substantial bag for $795. Not at all, not even one, okay? So even though the bag is $795, I think that that is a good price point for the bag, considering what bags at other stores are going for. Now let's be for real, we all know that you know um, Gucci um, is not spending seven hundred and ninety five dollars to make one bag that they're charging you know four thousand dollars for okay we all know that the the Gucci Di Dionysus bag does not cost them four thousand dollars to make but it costs four thousand dollars in the store right and that's because you're paying for more of the Gucci name okay so you don't have all of that going on with coach okay so you're not paying for that name just yet but they're getting there I think they're raising their prices and they're getting there um, slowly but surely they're gonna be probably on that same end of, of, of the uh, the same part of the mountain at some point they're climbing right now okay but this is a very very well crafted well made bag okay so I got this bag and I got the card case and I got them home and they were beautiful and I really love them and I was just looking at them all night however I couldn't sleep I just couldn't sleep I couldn't sleep because even though I liked this bag a lot okay I love the bag but it's not the one that made my heart sing right so even though this was the more practical bag for me and in my life it's not the bag that made my heart sing. So things was not gonna be right until I got the one that made my heart sing. So I just said, I said to myself, you know, I'm old enough to know at this point in time, I know me very well, and I know that until I get this bag, okay, I am not gonna be happy. So I might as well just go and get this bag. So from that point, in goes this one. This one makes my heart sing. This bag. Okay. it's so edgy it has so much going on in this bag let me read a little closer to you okay look at that bag it looks like dripping paint as you can see the last one I showed you okay that just had a couple of spots you know that looked like it could have been some wet paint but when you look at this one this looks like the paint is dripping they have been more bold in their colors more bold in their strokes I'm saying it does not open easily. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Again, full leather bag. I'm going to turn it back around so you guys can see it. Just a lot of the wet paint look. Okay. Lots of colors. We've got some turquoises, red, yellow. We've got some red. Um, we've got the white. I see some gray, light blue dark blue just you know I even see a seafoam green color in here lots of different colors for this bag okay so is this a very practical bag no not really but it is the one that makes my heart sing and it's the one that I wore today so <laughs> I know when I love a bag because when I really love a bag I'm gonna wear that bag immediately this bag, I just got this bag in yesterday and I already wore it today. So I know I love this bag. And already in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, what am I gonna wear tomorrow that this bag will complement so I can wear the bag again, okay? So that's how I know how much I really love this bag. Very, very beautiful. Very well put together bag. Very well put together, okay? And this is the one that Yota was actually showing on her channel. Now, what I wanted to know 
about the bag was, are they all the same or are they different? No, they're pretty much all the same. When I was watching Yota's video, I actually was able to get some good shots um, in and pause them and compare the markings on each bag. And when I compared this bag to the one that she was showing, the markings were pretty much in the exact same spots. When you look at the picture online, the markings are in the same spot. So no, they're not each created differently. They are all the same bag, which is okay. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Again, you know, it's the glove tan leather. Now, let's talk about one of the cons for this bag. Can you imagine the horror of every time you want to go into this pocket back here? You got to move all of your things to get this pocket open. And then you got to move them again to get this pocket closed. That was not a good idea. That is not a good design. That is a design flaw as far as I'm concerned. That is a con of this bag. So you got space that's really not going to be usable if the bag is full. So I think that is a con for the bag. Um, the bag has a, a ton of pros, which we've been talking about as pros the whole time. One of those pros is that it's so different. It's so edgy, okay? It's a beautiful bag. It's well made. It's leather lined, okay? Um, I believe the bag is at a good price point um, to be what it is. Because if this bag was sitting in Gucci, this bag would be $4,000 all day long, okay? So I did wear it as a crossbody. So 1941 hang tag. These are 1941 bags, okay? Um, and I did again here add an extra hang tag to this. Okay. Now, when you pack the bag, it becomes the the the, 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 the dimensions are a little bit different because there's a lot of give here. So when I got this bag packed, this actual uh, um, bottom um, actually went from three inches to four inches wide. So there's a lot of give here, okay? So you can get a lot of things in this bag. So I'm gonna kinda like show you guys what I have in this bag. I mean, it's it's a deceiving, you can't put the kitchen sink in here, okay? But you can get your daily essentials in here with no problem. Let's kinda like look at what I've got in this bag. Okay, let's see here, let's see what I've got. And I usually have my other phone in here, you know, which I did not, I guess I was figuring, trying to figure out something, but there, so it's in there now. Again, the bag is still perfect. That does not distort the shape of the bag. The bag can accommodate that phone with no problem, okay? Uh. So, and I think I just took this out of the pocket of the bag, so I'm not gonna put it back in because it's so difficult to get this in and out of that pocket. And see again, it does not open that easily. And let me see here. So I'm gonna put the card case in this back pocket to snap closure, okay? Again, that takes some wrestling with, okay? Not the thing to, to have to do with the bag, obviously. Not the thing you wanna have to do. Okay, so now the bag is totally closed. So now, let me open it up. See, it takes a little zoo to get that open. And I, I like that, so it's not, it's, it's not, it's not flimsy, that's pretty secure, okay. So, we'll start with this, that front little pocket. We have one cell phone in there, okay. The back pocket, another cell phone. We've got office keys, inhaler, a um, little receipt for something that I bought at Coach, another card case, little round case here, another card case, uh, lip gloss, earbuds, a mirror, Ooh, 
cash. A little cash. I don't really usually put things in the back pockets of the, my bags because I don't want the pocket to be distorted. So I probably will only put things in here that are very, very thin. Okay, um, so no phone. I'm not gonna put a phone back there. Even though I believe I could, I'm not going to. And then the card case back here. So it's a beautiful oxblood lining. Beautiful. Now, you guys know I'm big on smells. Now, when I smell this bag, I'm not I'm not overwhelmed by the the leather smell of the bag. It's just it doesn't hit me like that. I can smell the leather, but it's not like some of the other bags where the smell is just intoxicating. This is not like that, okay? But this is a structured bag, and I do like structured bags a lot, okay? So as you can see, a lot can fit into this little bag. Let me see. Let me put this stuff in here. I'll repack it real fast because I'm probably gonna use the bag tomorrow. That's how much I like it. I'm even gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this little back po pocket here. You know, it's there, so I guess you have to do something with it, but it is not user friendly at all. And I believe that if I had to get something else in this bag, you know, like I had also had my glasses in it earlier. I had no problem with my glasses being in here. No problem at all. Everything's going back in just the way it came out. It's not that bad of a game of Tetris to pack and unpack. And just that quickly, that's it. And we're ready to go again. And there you have it. So this is the banded shoulder bag and the mint surf. This is the silver and black one. Um, again, this bag is $7.95 retail right now. It is on sale, uh, uh, half off. Um, the card case is usually $1.75. It's also on sale, half off right now. Um, the sale was supposed to end today. However, when I was in the store, the associate, you know, let me know that the sale had been extended by one day. I guess that's, you know, tomorrow is a holiday. So it's going to be uh, going through um, Martin Luther King's birthday tomorrow. So this is my, these are my newest acquisitions from the Mint Surf collection. You know, if you get a chance, you know, um, you should pick these bags up. They are very edgy. I love these bags. I'm gonna have so much fun with them in my collection. As a matter of fact, like, when I was in the store today, they had a beautiful Rogue 31 in the T-Rose print. The bag that has not been in circulation for a long time and they told me that a lady actually returned that bag and I'm like how long does she have it and they said that she'd had it for a long time but the bag was still factory wrapped so they took the bag back and I actually chose this bag over that bag okay because I really love that T-Rose bag but you know at a certain point in time you just gotta stop so I said, you know what, I'm going to take this bag and leave those tea roses alone, okay? It, you know, it, they'll come along again, okay? <laughs> it was meant for me to have. I'll have them at another point in time in life. So these are my two um, new bags. I'd like to know which one you like the best. Um, tell me down in the comments. Um, did you pick up one of them? You know, would you have paid $7.95 for them? I believe I would have. I believe that on inspection of the bag, okay, touching it, looking at it, looking at the, at the workmanship, the craftsmanship, the quality of the leather, how the bag is made, the hardware on the, on the bag, just the hardware. You know, it's beautiful, okay? It's beautiful hardware on this bag, okay? You know, I certainly think that I would have paid $7.95 for this bag, okay? Um, and if I had bought it from Gucci, I would have paid more than that, okay? <laughs> so... I think that's all I have right now for this particular video, um, but I'm going to see you guys in the next. And if I have entertained you at any point in this video, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is completely free and it does help me. Once you have subscribed to the channel, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, hit the like button and give me a thumbs up, okay? And also, comment. Tell me what you think about these bags. 
tell me if you have these bags and if you could only have one which would you pick okay so that's all i have for this video but i'm gonna see you again very soon in the next bye bye